All right, so one aspect of Ruth Bader Ginsburg's death that isn't brought up enough is the idea that there is something fundamentally wrong with a system if one person's death, or one election for that matter, can cause so much worry, hostility, anxiety, or can cause such nervous breakdowns like this. It's proof that having too much power in the hands of a few government figures is not a good idea. We have people losing their minds, screaming like banshees, and generally acting completely unhinged at the possibility that Trump and the Republicans fill this seat before the election. Above everything else, if this type of person is having such a mental breakdown, they above all should, however unlikely it is, but they should be asking themselves the question, perhaps if one person needs to be replaced and there is so much insanity caused by their need to be replaced, perhaps that position and the government as a whole has far too much power, far too much influence, and should not have such dominance that they can cause such fear and cause such freakouts by the replacement of that single person or those few people. Because we also have Samantha B saying that this is the fight of our lives. It shouldn't be. The idea that one person or a small group of people can have such an influence on what you can and cannot do on your own time, on your own property, is as destructive as it gets. So it's odd, the very people who can't seem to help themselves when it comes to advocating for an even bigger government whose scope, influence, and power to provide or take anything and everything away from you, the mental breakdowns you are seeing are a direct result of that government having far too much power. And they're frightened about what that might do to them. That's a legitimate fear, but for some reason they have a very difficult time putting these things together in their head, and they can't seem to come to the realization that they do this to themselves. You want to praise government and look to it as some purveyor of all guidance? Well, okay, but things won't always go your way. Your preferred person won't always be at the helm, so prepare to have your mental well-being disintegrate any time it may look like that government that you advocated for to grow doesn't have the people in charge that you want. Prepare to have that happen to you throughout the rest of your life when it could just be so much easier if instead you advocated for diminishing government. And then there's also Reza Aslan, who is uh, also losing his mind and is threatening to burn the entire thing down if they even try to replace R Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Okay, again, perhaps you wouldn't need to go su to such insane measures if government didn't have such top-heavy control of so much. Maybe it wouldn't matter and you wouldn't have the urge to burn it all down, which not for nothing, burning everything down is a response to a lot of things these days. Isn't that the reaction we've been seeing at a pretty consistent rate at this point? Nutty leftists are already setting things ablaze, and they have been for quite some time. And also, I find it interesting that Reza Aslan and many of his supporters are the hate speeches and free speech types. Well, what about speech calling for setting fires and acting insane, which has already cost billions of dollars in damage? Is that speech okay? I'm not sure where the line is for these people. But anyway, I bring this issue up at least every presidential election, and I know many others do too. Um, that being that if a presidential election can cause such a mass mental meltdown, then perhaps the power of government is too big. Perhaps these people should be pushing for a smaller, more limited, and restrained government so the changing of a few political seats are less consequential in their lives. That seems to be the logical conclusion to this, but I won't hold my breath for them to figure it out. But that's all for now. Like and subscribe, and take it easy.